blockchain does not scale indefinitely. Basically, we are limited by the parameters, not just of the uh, of the Bitcoin blockchain, but also of the network that we run on to a limited capacity that we can use. And going beyond that uh, might not be possible uh, directly on the Bitcoin blockchain. So what we do is basically we try to make more efficient use of the limited capacity that we have um, by basically aggregating more and more transactions into very, uh, very few on-chain transactions. And the way we do this is basically by generate uh, by creating uh, off-chain contracts that can handle hundreds or thousands of, uh, of transfers and whose on-chain footprint then end up being just single transactions on the Bitcoin blockchain. We open a persistent relationship between two endpoints called a channel. We do that by basically sending a certain amount of Bitcoin to a multi-sig address where both endpoints sort of have to agree on what happens with these funds. Otherwise, uh, these these funds cannot be moved. Then we basically decide on how to uh, divvy up these, uh, these funds. Um, basically, what we can do is uh, if you and I want to open a channel, I can put in 10 Bitcoin and you can put in zero. So initially, all of the 10 Bitcoins are, belong to me, but then I can decide to basically pay you a Bitcoin by agreeing on a new settlement uh, of this, uh, of this off-chain contract uh, where you get one Bitcoin and I get nine. So we change the, how, the, uh, how the Bitcoins are tallied up. Once we are happy with how we did that, or I want to use my funds elsewhere, we basically take one of these agreements, the latest one, settle it on the blockchain, basically freeing these coins again from this off-chain contract, at the same time settling every single agreement that we had in the meantime uh, with just a single transaction on-chain. So for us, it's a way to aggregate many, many thousands of transactions in, the, in a very small space. There's also a difference in privacy when you use Lightning to transfer your Bitcoins back and forth. There is no permanent trace being left on the blockchain. What is left on the blockchain is, is an aggregate of millions of, uh, of, tran of individual transfers, but not the, tra not the individual transfer anymore. So while buying coffee on, uh, on the Bitcoin blockchain will uh, leave a permanent indelible trace of my interaction with that coffee shop, uh, in Lightning, it, uh, it is far, far more difficult to disentangle the traces that are left uh, left on, uh, on the blockchain by individual payments because they're all bunched up into, into the final settlement and it might even be impossible. Only people that are directly involved in the payment itself have any idea that there is a, a payment that, that happened. Um, and so we have scalability. We have uh, real-time payments and we have, uh, we have privacy.